See if I can get my mind first. a 50 gallon barrel, wooden barrel. I'll just start off with a little dab. And you take and put it over fire and heat it. You take in, say, two tubs of water, number two tubs, washing tubs, fill them full of water, get it to boiling, and you get your two pokes of meal. That's a bushel of meal, and that's a bushel of meal. You pour your water into your tub while it's a boiling. Pour you, you pour the meal in there just a little at a time. Start it with a stir stick, stirring it around just like you're stirring and making gravy or something or other. You keep stirring that around and around in there until you get all your meal in there and it cooks in. Well, when it get broke up and cooked good, well, then you cover your barrel up, put your malt in on top of your, your mash and stuff, and put a flour in over top of it, kind of hold the heat in there. Let it sit there and cook for about one hour. Then you pour in some water, you go stirring your malt down into your mash where you mush and like where you cooked it. And keep on stirring it down, stirring it down. And don't stir it down too far, you can cook your malt and kill it. And well, as you get stirred to the bottom end, you go stirring that and, and fill your barrel up with water until you get up to the top. Then you keep stirring that till it gets that stirred down until it's about milk warm. Then you cover that up, and then let it sit there about four or five days. It will work and settle down, clear. Then it will. Well, when it does that, while well, you put your steel in, and you build your furniture, set steel in there, wall up around it, but don't bring your rock to the top so it won't uh, scorch your stuff on top. And well, you pour your beer when it works. All pour your beer into that steel, put your fire in there. Well. You cap and everything, it goes on the steel as it gets ready to boil, put your cap and stuff on it. And it goes out into a worm, your worm sets in the barrel out here, a flake stand they call it. And it hits right around and around, it goes down until it comes out to the bottom down there. Well the water, you keep that barrel full of water, and as the steam goes through that worm, it evaporates as it goes through there, and it comes out at the bottom, alcohol in. And that's the way you make liquor. And both times you run your sanguine off, we always run our sanguine off first. And then double them back, put far cold in the sanguine, in the steel. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm putting a rag, putting a funnel, trying to cut all that scum off from the liquor and everything. And you said that that steam goes around and around that worm. The worm's about 20 and 25 feet long. And it goes to the bottom, that water on around the worm it evaporates, and it comes out the bottom alcohol. And I've seen it, one little drop and take the hair off of your tongue, shaking the head. It'd burn you up, buddy. You paint in your mouth, this seemed like your whole mouth. You just gone like that. It'd be so strong. <coughs> then you run that to get down weak. Then you take uh, pour that all in a crock or something other. And and temper it down to about 90 to 100 degrees. Oh boy, I, I made my part of liquor then. And we lost sleep all night long, back in liquor. And drank, get drunk the next day then. I'm gonna have to go back to the bathroom again. Where I've been operating. Oh, I'm